Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, ladies. Thank you, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting here live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? Oh, very good. Well. <laughs> How's Dallas this morning? Oh, it's beautiful. It's going to be in the high 80s. <laughs> Whoa, summer's come to Dallas already. Yes, it has. All right. <laughs> no, that's right. Don't be jealous, but, you know, we'll send little, you some we're sunshine. We're a little yeah, jealous. It's been very cold here in New York. I can imagine. I want to thank you guys for talking about Sweet Bitter. I was doing my homework an intriguing story, mm -hmm. Ella. Uh, I want my audience to know. I'm sorry. I, you guys got me so carried away. I didn't let them know. I'm talking to Ella Purnell and Caitlin Fitzgerald from Sweet Bitter on Stars. Uh, a very provocative, uh, uh, entertaining, uh, what do I want to say, uh, role you guys present to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ella, tell me, uh, um, I was reading about your bio. How, how, how does this add to your, your treasures of roles that you have uh, had the opportunity <laughs> to be in? Um, thank you. I, I mean, it's, it's my, my first sort of like adult role, it feels very much um, different from everything else I've done. It's my first time doing TV, my first time working in New York. It, I really am, was freaking out and thrown into the deep end, so it feels very much like I'm living these experiences for the first time as Tess is. Um, yeah, she's a hugely relatable character. They have had loads of fun doing it. Okay, let me ask you, Caitlin, um, where you go with this, because I think you... You're so young, and I think you, you're at the top of your game here. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not like the very top. Hopefully, hopefully it keeps going for a while. <laughs> um, but you're doing a fabulous job portraying, um, I think it's Simone. Yes, Simone. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. You know, we had such good writing um, and such great source material with the book. Uh, so I feel incredibly lucky and an incredible cast. And just every single person on this project was amazing. So... Yeah, we're very blessed. Very lucky. Well, te well, as you say, Ella, uh, as um, Caitlin said, you guys are blessed and incredible cast. But you guys look like mostly millennials. True. <laughs> I love you, Valder. Uh, <laughs> she is <laughs> definitely. I'm actually I'm the baby of the cast. I'm always the baby of the cast. But um, yeah, we've got a good range, good range of people. Yeah, I'm one of the oldest. No, she's not. <laughs> yes, that yes I am. <laughs> well, if that's all, that that that's where I want to be because that's looking pretty good on you, <laughs> Me Kate. Too. Thank you, thank you. Again, very blessed. <laughs> good genius. So it seems like you guys are having a good time bringing us this. And the reason why I said it looks like you have a cast of millennials because I was reading the statistics of the people that are following you. Those are the people that are following you. So maybe they're thinking the same thing like I am. Great. We'll take them. We'll yeah. Be glad to have them. <laughs> When you guys wrap this up in this season, what have, what have you have accomplished for us, the viewer? I mean, I think I think it's just a show about so many things. We touch on so many themes. Um, it's a coming of age story. It's also about moving to New York, and New York is very much a prominent character. It's about the restaurant industry. It's about developing a palate and food and wine and love and lust and, and friendship and family. I think it's. Um, it's just a wonderful, really relatable, um, vibrant show. Yeah. And the first season is just six episodes, and we're thinking of it kind of like a prologue. Yeah. You get introduced to all the characters and to this um, strange land that is this restaurant. Uh, and then hopefully, if we continue on, you'll, we'll have a little more in-depth view of everything. Well, the writers and you, and with you guys in these roles, you have made food sexy and seductive. And Isn't it always? Tantalizing. <laughs> just me? <laughs> <laughs> You know, so you've made people want to go out to dinner, and I was just even just watching the trailer. Uh, uh, it's shot beautifully, I think. I think it's shot like a movie. It's got all the hallmarks of a movie, but I know it's not a movie. And so, you know, you make people want to go out to dinner or a fine restaurant or be a little bit better just because of the food. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I highly recommend getting some, like, 
a lovely bottle of wine and some good snacks for your viewing of Sweet Bitter. Mm -hmm. well, you make you hungry. Have, <laughs> well, you guys have upped the ante in quality of food. So we're going to watch you on Stars. When When's your next time you want us to watch it? May 6th. Uh, May 6th at 8 p.m. on Stars. <laughs> I wish you two the best of luck. I want you to come back when they renew your season because I know they are, and then we can talk about you know all these roles that you guys will be doing again. Amazing. Great. We'd be happy. You guys are amazing. Thank you Thank for being you so my guest much. on the Valber BB Show. You can tell I'm a fan. Thank you. <laughs> Have Thank a good you day. So you too. Bye.